Hello there, my name is Alonti Montero V, and if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a return subscriber, thanks for tuning in today. Now you're probably like, who is this guy that popped up on my timeline, and what is he all about? And honestly, same. I'm still trying to figure myself out. I don't have a specific theme for my channel, so I decided, why not do it all? Themes are so 2019. Am I right, guys? Fuck no. Okay, I do everything on my channel for the simple fact that, one, I can, and two, my indecisiveness is so severe. And I mean very severe. So severe that I couldn't even choose a single font for my intro. Now, you probably clicked on my video for the following reasons. One, you're a return subscriber or a close friend and you just decided, hey, I don't need to lose weight because I'm perfect and I just want to come here to support you. Two, I want to lose weight and I want to lose weight fast. I want to see if this cabbage soup diet actually works and if I'm going to lose 10 pounds within a week. Or three, I just clicked on your video because you were on my feed and it was accidental. My bad. Excuse me as I skirt right out. If you fall under any of the three categories, thank you for the simple fact that you gave me the view and um, you gave me the security of my bag. Now, now, if you fall into category 2 and you want to lose weight, you're in the right spot. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, Alon, what is the cabbage soup diet and how do I obtain a godlike of a body? Good question. Let me research it. The cabbage soup diet is a short-term weight loss diet. You can lose up to 8 to 10 pounds within a week just eating cabbage. And you're thinking, wow, all I have to do is just eat cabbage? Yes. Just cabbage. Cabbage is so low in calories, you're only going to be intaking about a thousand calories per day, which isn't very much. So you are gonna feel your body shock within the first couple of days. This is a diet that should only be done up to seven days. Try not to do it longer because it is not healthy for your body. An average person loses up to one to two pounds a week, not 10 pounds. It would be great though to lose 10 pounds because I would achieve my weight goal a lot faster. Cabbage actually has some benefits. She has some kick in her. She helps fight inflammation, and she also acts as an antioxidant, removing radicals from the body, and is also considered the cancer-fighting food. Wow, I'm so scientific. There are some side effects to this. Not very deadly, but there are some side effects. You will be gassy, and you will go to the restroom. And I mean, like, raging waters out of your ass. What's also cool about this diet is the simple fact that it's pretty, um, versatile. What I mean by that is she can be used on pretty much all diets. Vegetarian, vegan, paleo, and I am keto, so it follows under my keto guidelines. There are other foods that you can implement within this diet, but you have to follow it strictly. Day one, you can have as much cabbage soup as you like along with fruits, excluding bananas. Day two, just like day one, you can have as much cabbage soup as you like, but now you're implementing vegetables, no longer fruits. Day three, Go ahead, baby, go crazy with that cabbage soup. And now you can have vegetables and fruits. Once again, excluding starchy vegetables and bananas. Day four, you are now only allowed on this day to eat bananas, yogurts, and milk, along with as much cabbage soup as you like. Day five, oh, my favorite day. I get a little excited for that. Honestly, I think I'm lactating. Eat only tomatoes, up to six to eight tomatoes, which I don't ever see myself in a day eating six to eight tomatoes. I don't wake up saying, Wow, today I'm gonna eat six to eight tomatoes. And add a protein like fish, turkey, or sausage. No, not sausage, chicken. Day six, ooh, we're continuing the same patterns as day five, I'm excited, whoa. Eat only protein and veggies. Once again, no starchy veggies. Day seven, the last day, woohoo. Eat only fruits and vegetables. Once again, excluding bananas and starchy veggies. You can also implement some juices but myself included, I'm not a really big juice fan. And there you go. By the end of the seven days, you should be about eight to 10 pounds lighter. If more, wow, you're one of the lucky ones. If less, don't be too hard on yourself. You're still lighter than you were a week ago. Along with this cabbage soup diet, make sure you're drinking plenty of water and staying hydrated. Drink up to eight glasses per meal. Per meal? That's a lot, you're gonna drown. Drink up to eight glasses a day. Alrighty guys, now that you've obtained all of this information from me for free, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Best of luck if you are trying this diet. If you're one of the ones who clicked on my video for the simple fact that you wanted to either see me fail or it was an accident, thank you for the view. Are you ready? What you're gonna need is you're gonna need some cabbage, you're gonna need some celery, you're gonna need a yellow onion, a red onion, some bell peppers, and a tomato, 
and your choice of seasoning and that's pretty much it. So now that I have my vegetables cut, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil on to the pot. A little bit of that, just let the pot get kind of warm. As the pot's getting warm, I'm gonna throw in my yellow onions. This reminds me of like stuffing. Yes, Thanksgiving things. If you can, chop up some fresh garlic. There's a totally difference from ones already chopped up and ones that you do fresh. Next, I'm gonna add one of these bouillons. What is bouillon? I didn't. No, this was a questionnaire. I just saw one of the people do that in the video. This is gonna help me make my broth. Add a little bit of salt. Is that salt, bitch? <laughs> Add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of cumin. A very little bit because cumin is very potent. So literally like that much. I went ahead and added three and a half cups of water. Depending on how much cabbage and stuff you have, it, the water is gonna differ. I ended up taking half of the cabbage out because it was just not going to fit in this little pot right here. So that way in the, it, later on in the week if I do run out of cabbage, I could just remake it. I still have some leftover veggies. I'm going to let it simmer, simmer for about 35 minutes. Honestly, it smells so good. The aroma is kind of reminding me of like Thanksgiving. Um, so I'm going to let it simmer, then come back and taste it. In the meantime, I'll film another video because your boy is becoming a chef. Like, emerald? <laughs> He sent me a DM, he was a little intimidated, and I was like, there's a new chef in town. Saddle up. I dream, I dream, I'm dreaming dreams. Oh my god. Remember in like High School Musical? I had a bad day, guys. I had a bad day. So, I'm gonna pack them in these oh, little mice and jaws. And um, take them to work tomorrow. So I'm not going to start this diet today. I'm actually going to start it tomorrow. But you guys wouldn't know because editing. Oh, but first, let me taste it. Let me get my spoon. I have a special soup spoon. He really doesn't. I have a special soup spoon. So let's see how it tastes. It's a mm. I feel the pound shedding. So let me go ahead and pack them in the jars. You know, guys, you're also supposed to put carrots in this, but I'm not a big carrot king. Gotta say. Bye. Bye. Bye, birds. Don't look at me like that. Here we go. Oh my god. Whew. Oh my god. This is the heaviest I've ever been. I remember being in college and I was one night in thinking, oh my God, this is the heaviest I'm ever going to be. Um, <laughs> I bet you wear that weight now, bitch. So tomorrow's the first day. Wish me luck and I will see you guys in the morning. Day one. Am I skinny yet? <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner. In all reality, it's gonna be lunch, snack, dinner. Cause I don't really eat breakfast. Um, well, maybe I could have have this for breakfast. Cause I'm so tiny now, I'm so petite. I have to have the mentality of being tiny. My manager's lunch. My lunch. So sad. So very, very sad. Let me just imagine that it's Chick fil A. Mm.
I am starving, guys. Also, to make this cabbage soup a little bit more tastier, even though it's pretty flavorful, I added a little bit of lemon or lime and some tapatio. But I had my first batch of this cabbage soup diet earlier. And let me just tell you guys, it's like you're eating sushi. If you eat sushi, you understand what I mean. You have a couple of pieces, you get full, and then all of a sudden, 10 minutes later, you're hungry once again. The flavor isn't bad though. It's not bad whatsoever. It kind of reminds me of chicken noodle soup, but without the chicken and the noodles. But it's overall pretty good. Just to let you know, it, it does go through you pretty fast. I don't mean that in like restroom wise. Like It doesn't go through you like that. I just feel like you get hungry really fast. Don't just take my word for it, guys. I'm gonna have my sister try to see how she likes it. It tastes like the, like it tastes it like, does like like chicken noodle, but without the soup. Are my cheekbone? At what point do you start getting Botox? Should I now? It is currently 11 at night. <laughs> I am gassy. I am hungry, and I have had four bowls of the cabbage soup. Um, dare I get another bowl? No, it is way too late to eat. So I just bought myself some water. Hopefully that holds me off till the morning. But day one was, was starting off good. I was optimistic. I was like, today's gonna be a good day. And then progressively, I just got even hungrier. But as of right now, I will just lay here and become a skeleton. And you guys could um, send me a coffin in the peel box i will see you guys in the morning if i'm alive don't leave me i'm starving day one was a little rough i thought i, I had it in the beginning but last night i was just rolling in bed i was starving um we're not starving. That's a, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. I was hungry. So I'm going to have the cabbage soup for lunch. And then tonight I'm going to have more cabbage soup with a side of grilled vegetables. So I will see you guys later when I'm at work. Pray for me that I don't fart in front of customers. I just to let you know, it, it does go through you pretty fast. I don't mean that in like restroom wise. Like Oh, it's hitting me. All right. <laughs> I will say though. My bloating has gone down. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm skinny. Dinner time. Well, hello there. Mm. Oh, you're still here. So we are now on day three. On this specific day, I don't know what it was. I felt super faintish. I couldn't focus. I felt dizzy. I, I felt like I was gonna faint. I realized my problem. On my regular day-to-day -day basis, I only eat once a day, which is super bad. And it's usually not even that big of a meal. It's like, sometimes it's just a bowl of rice and chicken and that's pretty much all I eat for the whole day and fill myself up on, on coffee. This specific day, it hit me and I came to the realization that I need to eat more. I mean, how I got this body, I don't know, but I only eat once a day. Ruben's always telling me, you need to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks in between. But for me, I just live such a busy lifestyle, so fast paced that I only eat once a day and I just forget. I suppress my appetite with coffee, which I am now realizing and thankful for this diet because I am now eating a lot more consecutively. I thought I was gonna get Zonky because he sucks. Oh, shit. He said, and I told you my suck. Well, actually, he didn't say he sucked. He said he didn't know how to play. Yeah, when they but we went for a hike here with my mans. 
um, Megan back there taking selfies. Yeah, I haven't ate yet. I just had coffee in the morning. We're gonna have a little break later. I didn't bring the cabbage soup with me, but I brought vegetables and a protein shake and fruit. Having my protein. Slimy yet satisfying. <laughs> yes. Good, King. We freaking did it, guys. That last part is a freaking killer. I'm so freaking proud of you guys. Yeah. That last part is like, woo! I just kept breathing so heavy. I'm like, what? Let that breath out, girl. I'm so proud of Meg. Meg a lot of. She's lost. How many? How much have you lost now? Twenty-four pounds. Shit. Twenty-four pounds, guys. You already know what day it is. So it is day six, guys, of this cabbage soup diet. I have one more day left. Um, this cabbage soup, honestly, it hasn't been that bad. I look like I'm complaining the other days. I'm just doing it for dramatic effect, but it honestly really isn't that bad. And I'm ready to have a whole life change. So right now I'm having some sauteed vegetables with kimchi in here as well, too. I try to implement my vegetables in every dish that I have. And I'm also finishing up my stickers that I'm sending out as well too. And this is my second batch of stickers. I'm always trying to perfect my packaging and my brand. So this is what it looks like. I did this little yarn outside to give it that kind of vintage feel. You guys don't know what my stickers look like. They're right here. They're down there. They're right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is my last day of the cabbage soup diet and I am ecstatic. I want to get back to working now and I want to just start this weight loss journey. This was just a kickstart to my new lifestyle. I'm so motivated. I am so determined this time around. I have a different mindset this time around. So with that being said, let's get this last day of the cabbage soup diet started. Right now I'm sauteing some vegetables for my lunch. I have one last cabbage soup waiting for me at work. Let's do the damn thing, baby. <laughs> The steam went in my nose. My last all vegetable dinner. Tomorrow is my final way in and I'm so excited. I'm going in with a positive mindset. Even if I just lost like one calorie. <laughs> one calorie. Even though I just lost one pound, I will still be happy because that's one pound less that I had from last week. So yeah, I am gonna eat my dinner, get some beauty rest, and I will see you guys in the morning for the final check-in. I am exhausted, I'm tired, but excited. I am excited to see if I hit my... So let's go get my way in and let's see if I did this diet right. Oh, I'm so exhausted, I still have a full day of work. All right guys, so final way in. Sorry, I look like a freaking cockatoo in the morning on crack, but here we go. The moment of truth to see if all my hard work and discipline paid off. Hi, how are ya? Don't mind my little my little pig hoofs. Actually, I'm not gonna show them because like I don't show feet pics for free. I'm really nervous. Uh... Oh my God, guys, I lost 11 pounds. I was expecting like just like four or five pounds because it's so hard for me to lose weight. I really followed the diet and I disciplined myself and I was motivated and I changed my mindset and I was like, you can do this all on. Just stay positive and you know, whatever the outcome is, at least if you lose something, you lose something. I'm so excited, I'm so happy for myself. Like, I'm so proud of you, Alon. I'm so proud of myself. I knew you could do it. I, if you just set your mind to anything, you can accomplish anything. And just like that, I am 11 pounds lighter. I am skinny. This lifestyle, it's something that's brand new to me. I don't know how to act anymore. Like I walked down the street the other day and a car passed by and I was like, 
I was taken back. Like I almost flew away because I'm so tiny and petite. And I get a lot colder now because I'm pure bones. And it's definitely something I'm going to have to get used to. But I can get used to it. Now, as you can tell, I did have some hiccups along the journey. I didn't follow the diet to a T. There were some days where I had milk and creamer inside my coffee when I wasn't supposed to. Some days where I had meat where I wasn't supposed to have meat. What I'm trying to say is... Don't be too hard on yourself. If you are embarking on this journey or doing this cabbage soup diet, you can't be too hard on yourself. Along any journey that you take in life, there's always going to be some sort of hiccup or some sort of obstacle that gets in your way. Now, the way that you pick yourself up and continue that journey, that's what really matters. Now, this was just a kickstart to my fitness journey. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. If you do, thanks. If not, here is my Instagram handle. That is my unapologetic plug. I posted on there about a month ago that I wanted to embark on this fitness journey where I can prove to myself that I can do anything I set my mind to. Weight, just like many other people, has always been a struggle for me. Along this journey, I hope to not only better my physical aspect, but also better my mental health. Because when you look good, you feel good. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today and joining me along this journey. And anybody who feels they're alone on this journey, whether they're trying to lose weight or better their mental health, just know that you can always reach out to me or reach out to somebody that you feel comfortable with. So I hope you guys have a great day. Hug your mom, drink your water, and as always, stay kind, stay humble, and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>